Hello, this is Johnny. Uh, I have a request by uh, two viewers. One was name was uh, Sam Samuel. Samuel. He was asking about Atari 800. And there's two formats. There's ATR and there is XEX. So I have not tried that on the other XEX. So I forgot to put in my SD card in here. Now this one is already a firmware update. So that means it recognizes the subfolder. And also it's supposed to recognize FAT32. I have not tested the FAT32 yet. I'm still haven't tested yet. But if those of you who test it work, let me know. Put that in the description, let me know. And so today we're gonna test uh, three program. Three software, uh, well actually three console, and the guy who suggested was drag, drag, drag O N underscore M K. If I pronounce it incorrectly, please apologize. My English is not the best <laughs> pronunciation. Okay, uh, so we have a console called Family System Disk. Uh, which is the which I have not tried the FDS. He has he has suggested and he said that should work. Okay, and then then we're gonna test the eight hundred, and then we're gonna test SG one thousand. Now SG one thousand use a similar emulator as a Sega CD and Genesis. I mean Dreamcast and Game Gear. So, I rename it to the same name as uh, uh, Sega Master, it should work. So that's what he suggested, and I believe that should work. Okay, so let's go ahead and do Family Disk uh, first. So those are the three consoles that we're going to test today. All right, so this one, we just unzip it, make sure we put the bio that we download from the website. And... Let's just pick one, see if it work. All right, bubble, bubble. FDS. No, it did not work for me. Mm, look at time. Okay, please leave a comment. Uh, I don't know if he tested or not. I I assume that he did, but. It didn't work for me, so unless I name the folder incorrectly, uh, maybe that's why it's not working. But apparently, it see it, but it doesn't load. And I know a couple of those games like that, in even Nintendo DS, and it, it will see it, but it just won't load. So I don't know what to tell you. So it, it do not work. Alright, so let's get out here. Oops, press A again. No, that's not what I want. I'll get back to the CD. I forgot what you need to push to get back to the CD. Home slap. There is a way where you're supposed to push and it's supposed to take you to back to the SD card. Alright, I'm just going to turn it off and turn it back on. I know how to get back to the main program, but I forgot how to get back into the SD card. So those of you still remember from the last video, let me know, I forgot. <laughs> I have not played this for a while. Lately, I have uh, catch a cold, a sinus cold, and and uh, I took a couple days off, but I still went back to work today. So, hope uh, I'm going to hang in there. All right, so that one did not work. So let's try, let's try this one. This one should work. Okay, so, well, what we did is we take the S S M 
SG and we name it to SMS. Or you could actually name it to GG as well because uh, but let's do it the, the based on his suggestion and because I remember in the past I tried to rename the that to GG for Game Gear and it didn't work. So so that's why I did not do it. Even even though this is a three letter character, but I feel I think based on his suggest his suggestion I feel more comfortable doing it based on what he suggested. So let's try it. Uh the couldn't figure out which one I want to play. I'll uh, try elevator action. Now this is the older older game is a uh, Sega Genesis 1000. So it looks like it's loading okay. Oh wow, it's cool. All right, let's. I don't want to accidentally press home to get out. Okay, how do I start the game? Okay, oh shoot. I didn't know I'm already playing. Okay, duck, duck, duck. Oh, he kicked me. She. Can I kick him? Okay, that's cool. Wow, there's so many of them. This one is harder than the arcade version. All right. Let's... Oh, I press home. I don't know. Did that make me kick me? Okay, didn't kick me all the way out. So that is cool. That is cool. That game does work. So let's press A again. Try a second one. Man, that, that game is pretty challenging. More challenging to me than, than the arcade version that I played before. Alright, so I press C. Okay, so to start this game, you have to press this button, C. N none of those work, so press C will start the game. And press A. No, A didn't do nothing. B. Okay, start the Okay, then press the start game. Am I playing? Oh, this is demo. Stop. Stop. Pause it. Okay, now I'm playing. So I had to click this twice. Okay, where's my bow? There he is. Okay, C's to jump. I got my little tiny bow. Ooh, now I have black bow. Ooh, cat. Cat probably is the bad thing. Cat's probably gonna eat the bird. So stay away from bird. Stay away from cat. Well, I'm doing pretty good. Oh! Let me separate my. Come here, come here. Oh no! No, he ate me. Mm. Alright. So that worked nicely. So those of you who uh, like the this this type of game. I'll press B, okay. Press, okay, B one time. All right, so you could try that game. Uh, it's called uh, SG-1000. Now, my Sega CD, uh, he, uh, the person was asking, how do you, how do I get the Sega CD to work? My Sega CD that I use is, is a bin file, B-I-N and C-U-E. Now, the C-U-E would not work. Okay, it's just there in order for the music background to work. So you have to keep those files. Otherwise, it doesn't know where the music comes from, or where where to where to play, it, how to play it, and uh, make sure you you un you copy your bio into the same folder as the Sega C CD, and then just look for the bin file like so, and then press A, and then you could play your Sega CD game. Now, it doesn't work the same for PlayStation, even though you could format it to the same format, but PlayStation emulator is not the same as Sega CD emulator, so it will not work, okay? It would be cool if it does work. It recognizes the PlayStation format, but it doesn't play. 
Now I haven't tried all the PlayStation formats, so those of you who who want to try it, uh, let me know. I think they have like a P P P P P P or something format, and there's also like a. Game over. Oh, my mouse. Belly on up, friend, and take a load off. Okay, well, bye. <laughs> I don't want to talk to the. All right, press B. Sometimes it take a while because if you have a lot of gaming here, if you press B, it take a while just to go to the next, to get out of the screen. All right, so the next one would be from another person, Samuel. Samuel, Samuel asked about Atari, Atari 800. Now we know Atari 52 work, 800 work, uh, Atari, uh, regular Atari work, but Atari 26. Okay, I'm gonna try the 8000. 8, All right, press 8. I mean, 800. Sorry. Okay, I press it. It's still thinking. I think because I have. 4,000 files in there. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's taking a long time just to go in there. See, I'm not touching it. Uh, you press A, I'm waiting for it to load. And it doesn't recognize neither, neither format. It doesn't recognize the A, ATR, and it doesn't recognize the XEX. Okay, so do not recognize neither one. I remember I, tr I tried this, but I just, I didn't write it down. So, the Atari 800 do not work on the Atari Game Pro, okay? Because the format, it doesn't recognize those two formats. All right, so that answered the, the question of the the, uh, the viewer was asking about. And uh, also, uh, Drax, Drax underscore MK also suggests that uh, RK one up have a, a console, I guess. I don't know is it a console or is it a a big big uh, controller but I think it's a console it's called uh, Pac-Man and Mega Man uh, RK one up controller but my question is how do you connect it don't you need a uh, let me get out of this we're watching the blue screen my question is how do you connect it because the controller that, that is controlled to the little console is a uh, Bluetooth so does it support this? Does it support the Bluetooth of that con of that controller, or, or do you need to have a dangle? So uh, please let me know because that's my question. Is uh, I think I found it. It will is kind of blue looking, like a little handheld blue looking, and the box is blue, and you can plug it to the TV and get some uh, console game you can play. Uh, it's an old RK One Up console before they came up with the. Yeah, I don't know. Is it RK One Up or is it? I guess they might have make one. I don't know. If that's if that's the one console, then let me know. Uh, give me some hints so I could. I know you cannot type the the link to me because uh, YouTube will dis disable it or delete it. So, but yeah, give me uh, give me some more uh, the full name of it so I could search for it in Amazon or something. Or oh, RK One Up, then I know what controller that you are referring to. Uh, he said that it worked, so I'd like to know which one so I could share that with everybody. All right, thank you for everybody. So uh, give me input information. Uh, it's good to know that Family Disc does work. No, Family Disc do not work. <laughs> and uh, Spasika uh, One Thousand does work. So that's cool. And then. Uh, Atari 800 do not work. So one out of two. All right. I appreciate y'all watching. Hopefully, uh, 
yeah hopefully this this help <coughs> talk to you later